This is a quick video produced on Tuesday, June 18th, 2019 to explain how the Python enumerate function works with Python dictionaries. I found this a bit confusing uh, as I was learning about the Python enumerate, so I thought I would share what I figured out. It's nothing very lengthy, but it's good to understand exactly what enumerate does with dictionaries. So the enumerate function in Python is a way of looping over a tuple, a list, or another container object which returns a counter index as well as the value for each item in the list. So let's show that. So mostly I'm going to do this in IPython. This is IPython here. So for example, pets is a list of the type of pets that someone has. So they have a dog, they have a cat, they have a parrot, they have a hamster, and they have a mongoose. Suppose we want to get a list of those pets with the index of the list, excuse me, the index of the pet in the um, uh, list. Well, by default we can't do that. The for loop in Python by default will just loop over the elements in the list or the items in a container. I'll talk about that more in the case of dictionaries where it's a little more complicated. Now the crude C style, C programming language style way of doing this would actually be to do it manually, where say I have an index, I do that, then I do for pet in pets, and then I could print the index and the pet, and then I increment the index manually or by hand, and there we go. That's kind of awkward, and it's also very prone to errors. It's very common when doing these kind of manual looping indexes that you get an off by one error or something like that. So Python has provided a built-in function to make this easier. So we can say for index pet in enumerate pets and then print index pet, for example. This is a simple example. And see it does it automatically. So enumerate returns an index or counter counting starting at zero through the list and also the actual value in the list. And so this is all automated. You don't have to manually keep doing it. And that's great. And in fact, let's say I had an act. So pets is actually a tuple indicated by the parentheses. We could also have a, a list of pets. So we could have dog and cat and parrot, excuse me, parrot and hamster and a hamster and mongoose. You could also do this with lists. And so, for example, we can have for index pet in enumerate pets list, excuse me, mistyped list, and then again we do print the index and then the actual pet. Okay, same thing comes out. So we can do it with lists. Now the problem comes with what does enumerate do with a dictionary? So this is a dictionary of my pets. So I want to be able to find out from the name of my pet what type of pet it is. So for example, if I use Toby as my input here to select the element of the dictionary, I'm going to get dog. So Toby is a dog. And similarly, we can do that with um, Ted, for example, turns out to be my hamster. And um, gosh, this is an interesting experiment here. Let's see if it will do this. Yep, it has completion in IPython. And so it's actually able to figure out I'm referring to Ricky Tiki Tavi, who is a mongoose. Great. Well. Dictionaries are a bit different from lists and tuples and a lot of other containers. So for example, if I took and I did item in pets dict, and then I print the item, what do I get? I don't get what you might think would be the item, which would actually be the pair of Toby and a dog. What I get is the keys. So it defaults to, to looping over the keys. So in general, to do what I was showing with enumerate, you actually would do for key in pets dict, and then I could say print key pets dict key. So in many ways, the key, which can be anything, and in this case is a string, the name of the pet, acts as my index automatically. So I do that, and now I have the list with Toby uh, is a dog, Serena, etc. What will enumerate do? If I do for index value in enumerate numerate 
pet's dick. Now remember, I'm enumerating over a dictionary, not a list or a tuple. And I print index value. What happens? Well, again, dictionaries default to looping over the keys, not everything that's in there, not the values. So my uh, index is actually an index into the keys array that you could sort of theoretically generate from the uh, dictionary. So in other words, into this, you can actually get it by doing keys. Now if I wanted to actually get the items, what I would think of as an index item in enumerate, now I have to use a method or a function of the dictionary called items. And then I could do print index item. And now I get, in fact, the index shows the position in a sort of list of the items, which are the pairs. They're actually tuples. The first element of the tuple is the key, which in this case is the name of the pet. And the second element of the tuple is the value, which in this case is a string, which is the type of pet. So again, there is this items method of a dictionary. Sorry, we have a spurious s here. There we go. So pet underscore dicks dot items actually returns this sort of special list, dick underscore items type list, which has within it each of the items as a tuple, and each of the items is the key value pair, which we typically want to access when we loop over dictionaries. So that's very simple. So the key thing to remember, the key takeaway here, is that when you enumerate a dictionary, you get the keys by default. It's the same way as the for loop in Python acting on a dictionary. So again, for key in pets dict print key. I don't get everything in the dictionary, I just get the keys. Of course, I can use the key to look up the value that's paired with the key. So very often, that's all that we need to do. So that concludes this video on enumerate and the dictionaries in Python. So also, you can read further on this on my blog if you wish, and I will include this link to the Python enumerate function in dictionaries in the notes for this video.